Hi, how are you? Lisa here with Lisa Fisher Styling, a safe place for you to come to for your styling resources, tips, and professional services. In today's video, we are talking all things outerwear. So depending where you are listening to this video from, what climate you're in, the outerwear pieces may definitely vary. Here in Washington state, our climate in the fall and winter can range from everything very mild to we can be in the snow and everything in between. So when I'm working with one-to-one -one clients, I'm all, oftentimes uh, recommending a variety of different outerwear pieces. The three that are currently behind me is an example of a, a rain jacket, an everyday wool jacket, and a puffer jacket, uh, really reserved more for those winter months. A rain jacket, because oftentimes here in Washington State, uh, it's not cold enough for something like uh, a puffer jacket, a winter coat, or something down, but we just need that layer and we need it to be water resistant, water repellent. So definitely a rain jacket. Where a wool coat comes in handy is really, it can last us all throughout fall and winter. It's great with jeans, it's great with dresses, uh, and really works great with skirts or slacks. It's a, it's just a, a workhorse in the closet. Um, based the color typically based on whatever your wardrobe capsule basic neutrals are. So I've seen the wool coats everywhere from black, in this case, camel to gray to ivory to white, lots of different options. And then of course, the thicker winter puffer coat, faux fur, and this also has a hood. It's one of those that can definitely go out into the snow with um, and and still look stylish and pulled together. So three others that I'm going to recommend in just a moment when I turn the racks, but where I am uh, also have this this information cataloged. If you are interested in having a checklist, so when you're thinking of a brand new season that you're walking into, isn't it nice sometimes to go, what should I have in my closet? Or to have inspirational checklists to maybe even consider things that maybe you hadn't before. If that's of interest to you, I have a wardrobe checklist that is available for you as my gift. Where you can find that is over at lisafisherstyling.com and Fisher, F-I-S-C-H-E-R. It's at the top of the page. It is a free download for you and use it and, and look at it you know, in, for the fall and for the winter. And then we will have another one coming out in March. March for the spring. Okay, so let's continue to our other three types of jackets that are on our checklist. Okay, so this next one is a more of an athletic coat. This one is reserved for um, skiing. Our family uh, loves to snowboard and snow ski. So this is something that I would definitely wear when it's active wear and I'm needing that performance-based uh, moisture wicking, but also staying really warm. This is something else that, um, you know, it could be like for sports games, you know, going out to the soccer games, something that is real sporty, really comfortable moves. This could even be something like walking the dog, that sort of thing. So it's a reserved jacket for more of the athletic, in this case, for, for skiing. The next one, let's see, this is, this one's something for special occasion. So this could be going to a holiday party, a guest at someone's home. Maybe um, this could be worn with a cocktail dress or maybe some sort of faux leather leggings and blouse, uh, sweater, uh, something that could be worn to the theater. It's almost like a teddy type coat, teddy bear. Uh, but in this case, it's more of just a real soft uh, puffer uh, or you could do something faux fur, something like that. So something reserved, an outerwear piece that is reserved that really does say special occasion. All right, and the last jacket that's on the uh, fall winter checkoff list is something that is just a basic 
trench coat, basic everyday trench coat. Some trenches do have a built-in hood, a detachable hood. Some do not. This one does not in this case. So this is just super lightweight, um, really probably more worn in the fall, um, but this is also water resistant. So if it is uh, raining, um, that sort of thing, not super warm. So that it is more of that trench piece, uh, worn October, November into December, but probably not too much more. Uh, and then can be brought out again in the spring, but then I would probably go towards something a little lighter. So essentially those are my top picks for winter. How about you? What are some types of coats or jackets that you really enjoy that you have in your closet. I'd love to hear more. Um, please do comment or even reply back with uh, what either questions you have or what jackets that you have that weren't discussed in this video. And then finally, I just wanted to turn your attention back to if you do like the idea of having a wardrobe checklist for winter, um, do go ahead and grab yours as well. Something else, uh, for those of you who, you know, whether it's during the holiday times or just in general, um, are constantly like every morning as you stand in front of the closet, just really overwhelmed with what do I wear or feeling like you don't have anything to wear as you stand in front of a packed closet. I just really wanted to invite you to something that is brand new. It's called Image Strong Connection. It is a community. It's a community of like-minded women uh, like you who are interested in building your self-confidence, building your self-esteem around your image and appearance and putting outfits together. So if that is something interesting to you, I invite you to learn more information. And the link is here uh, in the text, but it's Image Strong Connection. And uh, it is $27 a month membership. A person can cancel it anytime, but why would you? <laughs> but you sure can. It's just, you can come on in, dip a toe, get your feel, but feel of what the community is, is about. But essentially it's like having a wardrobe stylist in your back pocket 24 seven, and then having a community of like-minded women uh, supporting you. So check it out. It's at lisafisherstyling.com forward slash services. And I look forward to seeing you over there if that's something that can be of service to you. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. And we're going to be talking about some holiday looks as it relates to cosmetics and what might help you feel a little bit more special occasion as you prepare for the holidays. All right. Take good care and we'll see you in the next video.